Morning everybody, Silver Vault here, and it is morning because it is currently quarter past one in the morning on Sunday morning, and I can't sleep. So, I thought I'd get up and, um, well, I was at the bathroom having a cigarette, and it was a case of, I don't know what I'll do, I'll do my 3,000 subscribers message. So that's what I'm doing. Well, it's a 3,000 subscribers message coupled with probably severe random ramblings because it's quarter past one in the morning. Um, so yes, I mean, I'm thinking, you know, I was sat in the balcony, I was thinking to myself, you know, what am I going to do? Because you know, I didn't want to start playing any games or anything like that because I'll be here till five o'clock in the morning and then I'll go to bed and then I've got to get up at half six to walk the sodden dog, um, you know, get Philly up and then I've got to get, get her to work and then I've got to get myself to work. So, so I thought, let myself a Disarono and Coke because if there's one thing guaranteed to put me to sleep quicker than a sledgehammer to the face, it's Disarono for some reason. It, it, it works worse than it's it's my anaesthetic. I don't know why. I just like the taste. Um, so you know, we'll have to excuse the fact that I'm do, currently doing a Jesus impression. Um, uh, because I, I, you know, I'm not getting bloody dressed. So I just slung on food's bathrobe. <laughs> it's all right. I bought it. And besides, she's not using it, and it's comfortable. But yeah, so you know, I went to bed about eleven, on, um, as I normally do. I got, when I got work the next morning, and it's a case of, well, come one o'clock in the morning, and Philly, and I, w I was just getting more and more uncomfortable, and hotter and hotter and hotter, um, and I'm, I'm inching myself further and further away from Philly, because Philly is a bloody hot water bottle, which doesn't help me try to sleep, so I'm inching myself further and further away from her, and she keeps following me in her sleep, because you know, me and Philly are one of those huggy couples, um, so she you know if I move away, she moves with me. Um, and eventually, I'm lying right on the edge of the bed, and I'm lying like that on the bed. You know, I'm lying diagonally on the bed because I've got the dog at my feet. But at least the dog wasn't on my head where she usually is for some strange reason. Ever since Philly moved in, but ever since Philly moved in, the dog, for some strange random reason, has been decided that she wants to sleep at my head. You know, I turn over and get a mouthful of shade fur. Ever so cute. Oh. Really weird thing about this around. I mean, it tastes to me. It reminds me of marzipan, but I don't like marzipan. Anyway, um, so what, what was it? Um, where was I? God, this video is going to be rambling because I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. Go figure. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm moving on. Eventually, you know, I'm right at the edge of the bed. I mean, I can't go any further. If I go any further, I'm going up on the floor. Um, so I, 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 you know, and it's like, and Philly is still holding on to me, so it's like, right, okay, I need to get away, so I push, only gently, but of course, Philly, hmm, 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 sack of potatoes, boom, that wakes Philly up, he's like, can you move over, I said, don't move over any further, I'm going to fall off the bed, she goes, are you alright, I was like, no, oh, I can't sleep, she goes, poor baby, why don't you go play World of Warcraft, in other words, get out of the bed and stop fidgeting. Um, but as I said, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to start playing video games because that's going to take far too bloody long. Um, so I decided to do the video on my 3,000 subscribers. Yes, you know, I'm standing on the balcony having having a cigarette and uh, the coal blowing around my special place because I'm not wearing anything in this robe. Just for your own information, I'm sure you all wanted to know that. And I thought, because and of course I've been, I don't know what it is with the new YouTube videos. Um, not flipping loading anything up. Well, the new YouTube format not loading anything up because I was having problems with it. Obviously, on Thursday when I was trying to put up my Brave Max review. Um, and so it didn't actually load up till Saturday, and I couldn't load it up till Saturday. So, but anyway, yes, enough ramblings about me. Um, despite the fact that what I tend to do on my videos is ramble, but there we go. I have 3,000 people who like to watch me ramble. Um, I hit 3,000 subscribers midweek. Well, midweek I noticed it anyway. Yes, it was. I think it was about Wednesday because I, I sent random texts, you know, to, to Dave, to Mark, to Matt, to Andy, who never replied, Andy, but that's Andy all way and through and through. He doesn't reply to me, he doesn't reply to text messages. Um, you know, saying I'd hit 3,000 subscribers, and it's like, my God, this is humbling. Yeah, and and Philly asked me. Um, you no, know, Philly asked me on, on I think it was Wednesday. Goes, you know, did you ever think it was going to get that far? And it's a case of, 
you know, when I started doing videos in what, 2006? Um, I honestly did not believe that it was going to come to this far. You know, that I was going to get 3,000 subscribers, that I was going to get, you know, that people were going to seriously value my opinion. You know, I was going to get messages going, should I get this, should I get that? You know, the fact that people really respect my opinion and respect what I say, it's. Because, you know, I've never been a subscriber's whore. Um, I know that's a very crude term, but, you know, I've never gone out of my way to get loads of subscribers. It's never been my style. It's never been something that I've ever really. I've never really you know, I've never gone say, well, you know, I want more, I want as many subscribers as possible. Well, obviously, I do want as many subscribers as possible, but I've never gone out my way to try and get them because it's not been my, it's not been my style. I mean, you know, I mean, um, I mean, in some regards, yes, I am a subscriber whore. Anybody who makes videos is a bit of a subscriber whore because we're all attention seekers. You know, we make videos with the sole purpose of wanting other people to watch them. You know, we enjoy making them, we enjoy the fact that people watch them, but we also enjoy the attention. You know, we like the positive comments, it's great! We all do. And anyone that says they don't is a bloody liar. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. I mean, why would you make videos if you don't like doing it? You know, I've said it before in my other videos, you know, I've always, I enjoy making videos. You know, I enjoy making them light-hearted, hence why I've told you I'm sitting here in a dressing gown. Looking like Jesus drinking alcohol. Well, it's not a bad thing, you know. I mean, I've got to make sure there's not too much blood gets into my alcohol shrink. It's not a good thing, seeing as... Oh, my God. <laughs> seeing as I went out on Tuesday night. Uh, that was fun. I went out on Tuesday night. Um, no. <laughs> ended up in missing, as I wanted to do. Uh, I got told off about that by Sean. Actually, goes, God, what are you doing going down there without me? Um, then Thursday night, I was in missing. And then Friday night, I was in missing. Um, but at least, um, fr at least on Friday I came back earlier than I did the week before, when the week before I came back at 7 in the morning. Um, the last week it was like quarter past four. Weren't that bad. Hmm. One of the advantages of now having three people living with me, I have more money. Which means I blow it on alcohol. Unfortunately. Oh, I don't mind. Nearly killed my feet. What was it? Uh, yeah, that was it. Last Friday when I had... Um, um, one of the new clubs opening in Birmingham Mint. It was the opening night of Mint, and we work with. The, and Adam is the boyfriend of the owner, Kyle, and we said, and and he he said, you know what? And Adam was in there one day, and he said, look, I've got I've got you VIP tickets, free entry, and lots of free drinks vouchers. So we're all, so the whole the whole lot of us were like, wow, we're gonna make sure we're definitely gonna go in there. You know, we can't we can't miss this. It's it's gotta be done. <coughs> you know, VIP entry, VIP lounge and free drinks. It'd be rude not to go. So we all said we'd go, but by the end of it, the only people that went was me and Sean, because we're just the pissheads that we are. So we went to Mins. And I really liked it. It played 70s, 80s and 90s music, so it was a cheese fest. So, of course, I loved it. Um, and Sean did as well. And... Um, you know, we had a really good laugh in there. You know, we were in there for three hours. We got fairly well sozzled. And we didn't pay for a single drink. It was great. Um, though I will say this. You know what? Lads, if ever you go out on the pool... Um, naturally, I wasn't on the pool. I'm going to say this now. I wasn't on the pool because I realise how bad it's going to look. But I wasn't on the pool. But lads, if you are ever on the pool, never, ever, 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 ever have a gay professional dancer with you because they are the worst wingmen in the world because you can't dance like them chances are you're not going to look as good as they do on a dance floor which means the women will flock and the women did yes at one point me and Sean were do on the stage doing the YMCA on the stage because of course well I know most of the dance I mean who doesn't know most of the dance it's like YMCA you know who doesn't know most of the dance but of course Sean knows the whole dance so I just copied him and so did three of the girls that were with us it was really really quite bad um, that night I think I actually broke my feet dancing because we had such a good boogie um, then dance were missing and it was well it was missing so it was we're on the dance floor again I'm quite a sociable creature Especially when I've had money and lots of apple sours. Though our, though our poison of choice on last on Thursday night was Sambuca. <gasps> had a drink in Nightingale.
Let me know in fairness, Adam picked me up for that one, so I couldn't really um, say no. So I couldn't, sorry, I couldn't, not that I couldn't say no, of course I could say no. Um, I couldn't stay out late because Adam picked me up. Because he's so easy, like, Adam drove into town to get me, and he was like, you know what, I'm not staying late because I'm just taking the piss. Um, completely lost my train of thought now. Yes, I know. Yes, so. And of course, um, speaking of the much alcohol inducement, um, I was supposed to be going to the Southern Meet next week. However, I can't! And I actually really can't. And I'm actually a little bit annoyed and feeling rather stupid with myself for agreeing to go and, you know, saying to people I'll be going and then suddenly backing out. And it was feeling that reminded me that I actually can't go because I've got the Rocky Horror Show next Saturday night. Um, and it was a birthday present for my sister. She's bought us tickets, so there's a good few of us going. Um, my mom's not going this year because she's currently in South Africa. Yeah, I got a text message from her at sort of like four o'clock this morning saying we're currently in Dubai. It's very hot. And I was thinking, I hope it bloody rains on you. As soon as it was like, I don't know what it was like where you guys were, but at six o'clock this morning. Uh, well, when I got up about eight o'clock this morning. Um, the rain was lashing down and the wind was threatening to come through the walls. It was that bad. I remember this texting me saying she's in Dubai and it's very hot. So, there's a few of us going. In fact, I don't actually know how many of us are going to the Rocky Horror Show next Saturday. Next Saturday. Um, that's going to be fun. Gives me a good excuse to go back to missing because the only place you're ever going to get into when you've just been to the Rocky Horror Show is a gay bar because of what you'll be wearing. Though, seeing as it's November, I'm not going in. I'm not wearing what I was wearing last year. I mean, some people know what I wore to the Rocky Horror Show when I went and did it last year, but I'm not wearing that much again. I've already got an outfit planned, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Not yet, anyway. I imagine I'll have to make Nicole jealous on and put pictures up because she was very jealous the last time I did the Rocky Horror Show because she said I've got better legs than her. So that should give you some idea as to what I wore. with my hair in pigtails and I'm out of this Arono. Right, I'm back. Still looking like Jesus, but with more alcohol. Um, I've also polished off the last of the coke, which Philly's going to shoot before in the morning, but no, well, I can always buy some more. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, Rocky Horror Show. This is a 3,000 3, subscribers message. Honest, it is. Um... Yes, I've got the Rocky Horror Show on Saturday, which will be fun because I'm almost bound to end up missing after that. I'll just have to make sure Sean's on his way down. Um, make sure Sean's in there. <laughs> Mind you, I'll probably end up I'll probably uh, end up meeting up with Emily and Matthew and Lee and them. So if they're out on Saturday. Hopefully they are. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm going to the Rocky Horror Show and then I'm going to drag my sister and my brother down her street with me. That'll be fun. Though I've got to find a way for Philly to get home because if there's one place that Philly hates worse than anything in this world, it's her street. She despises it, it's really not her kind of scene as well. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to next Saturday. I'd rather have gone to the London meet, I will admit, but I am looking forward to next Saturday because the Rocky Horror Show is so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, for those of you who don't know it, um, type it into YouTube. And you'll have heart failure. <laughs> I should put a, 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 a parental warning, a parental, parental advisory sticker on that because you will have heart failure. But it's so much fun. For God's sake, Meatloaf and Tim Curry were in the original. Um, yeah, so. So anyway, back to 3,000 subscribers. Um... There is not enough alcohol in my bloodstream. Unfortunately, I still have a bloodstream. It's not good. That was a joke, by the way. I'm not turning into an alcoholic. Besides, I'm not an alcoholic. As Jeff Dunham said, AA's for quitters. No. I'm not an alcoholic. Alcoholics go to meetings. I shouldn't joke about it, really. I know, but there we go. Anyway, but then I'll go to Cruise and see you Hence why I bought one of these! Yes, a Nerf Maverick. Recognise it? Does it not look similar to anybody? Anybody not notice what this reminds you of? Imagine if it had a big sight here. And was green here. Yes, the Nerf Maverick was one of the ideal moulds. Was one of the moulds. Well, the idea behind the Nerf Maverick, um, which might actually get its own separate review, um, was... 
Oh, well, you know, actually, you know what? I might keep this for a separate review, just for a little bit of a play on a review. So I'm not going to tell you what it looks like. If you can guess it, fair enough. But I'm not going to tell you what it looks like or what it was designed or what it was designed through. So yes. The dog hates it. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it, and she's she's currently looking over the road, and she's you know all I can see is a nose and a pair of eyes looking at the chair. She doesn't like it. For one, it makes this noise, and two, she's terrified. I'm going to go. And I'm going to shoot her with it. I'm not. I'm not that mean. Um. So yes. And as soon as Movie Man gets back to me with, let me know where my other Nerf gun is. He said he was going to pick one up in the states. It's a lot cheaper than getting it over here. I'm excited. Anyway, yeah, so 3,000 subscribers. Um, seeing as this video is now in the region of about 18 minutes long, and I think I've spent two minutes of it talking about 3,000 subscribers. So yes, 3,000 subscribers. I mean, when when you know when I started videos in 2006, um, I never ever expected to get this high to become, you know, this. You know, and I've always really tried to not sound arrogant um, when it comes to, when I come across. Um, but you know, I think with 3,000 subscribers, and you know, I think I can afford to be a little bit arrogant, especially since I've never really tried to get subscribers except for what like, make videos. Um, you know, I remember when I, you know, I remember when I was getting the, the 600 mark, uh, which was an achievement in itself. Um, I was I was mentioned on forums. Philly found my name mentioned on forums, and and there was one forum. Um, I can't remember what it was now. And there was this reviewer who did not like me at all. Thought I didn't take it seriously enough. And there were people that agreed with him. And you know, some people would have been put off by that. To me, I thought that was actually more pathetic than the fact that I collect toys. You know, I mean, the fact that you, they they didn't like me, they refused to watch me. They seem to, they, despite the fact that they 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 refused to watch me, they seem to have a very intricate knowledge of my of my videos. Um, who thought I wasn't serious enough? That I didn't take it serious enough? And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so popular. Is because I don't mind having a joke. You know, I don't mind poking fun at a toy or poking fun at a character, or indeed more often than not, poking fun at myself. Um, you know, in, in the time I've been on YouTube, um, I've been parodied by friends, which is quite amusing. Um, you know, I've had people ask for my autograph, I've had people ask to have their picture taken with me. Uh, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been awarded a kind of celebrity status. And I'm not, mind you, mind, no, mind you, that's very delusions and grandeurish. I want to say I've got. I'm, I'm, I suppose, in some regards, you know, within a very within within the YouTube community, regarding Transformers, I suppose I am. I'm a little bit of a celebrity. You know, the fact that it's on YouTube and the fact that it's in Transformers makes it a much smaller celebrity than, say, the likes of Tom Cruise. But I'm not complaining about that. You know. Okay, yeah, you know, the attention whore in my in me probably would, you know, love to be that be get the kind of status that Tom Cruise has. I certainly wouldn't mind his money. Or his wife. Did I just say that out loud? Oh well. Um You know, and you know, to become a bit of a sort of in auto assembly last year, you know, there was people who I thought were must have been pretty bonkers. Um who wanted to talk to me, who wanted to, you know, to say hi to me, who wanted to shake my hand, who wanted my autograph, who wanted their picture taken with me, and it, and it, and it was so overwhelming. I mean, there was there was one there was one lad, um, I'm going to embarrass the hell out of him here, um, who came up to speak to me. I don't know, he was probably about 12. And I remember this, I was standing on the balcony, I think I was talking to Mark and Paul, I was standing on the balcony at the Holiday Inn, this, and this lad came out, and you know what, he, he looked so starstruck. Um, you know, and it was, it was, it was, it was, that in itself was more overwhelming than the, wow, you're Silverbolt. You know, someone was actually starstruck, and he was, he was so shy, and, and didn't know what to say to me. Don't know what the dog's doing, but there we go. You know, he was so, and didn't know what to say to me, so in the end I spoke to him, you know, because it was, 
I was like, and I just said to him, hi, you alright? And I was thinking to myself, what do I say now? And in the end, we actually got talking, you know, and it was really nice. And, and he, he walked off looking quite pleased that he'd spoken to me. And it was, it's like, wow, you know, why, why? You know, as well as it, you know, it's, it's, it's flattering. You know, it is, and it's very flattering. I mean, it's very ego boosting, I have to admit. Because I'm, you know, I'm quite an egotistical, I'm quite an egotistical person. Um, for whatever reasons that I am. But, you know, I'm quite an egotistical person. And... And it was and it was really flattering, but and at the same time it was so humbling, and it's so overwhelming that people, you know, who were just who were just like you, and, who were just like me, you know, they're just everyday people who who have a passion for well plastic crap and metal crap and and cartoons and toys and voice actors and you know and and it's just and it was just and it's so humbling to be part of this community. Um, and as I was going back to you know, I mean, as I said, you know, people, you know, I've, people have parodied me. People have taken the piss out of me. You know, um, you know, people have dedicated entire channels to taking the piss out of me. You know, but people watch me, and people keep watching me, and they keep asking me for do videos, and they keep they keep wanting to see more, and it's so. I don't want to say overwhelming, I don't want to say humbling again, because I've used those words at least twice already. God, where's Sean and Emily when I need a philosophical conversation? Um, actually, where's Leo for that matter? Who and me will use those two words. Apart from that, the guy's pissed off back to back and reach, I'm not very impressed about it. There we go. Um, you know, so many people now watch my videos. And, you know, I'm still not the most popular person out there. You know, there are people, well, there are people who have more subscribers than me. And fair play to them for doing what they're doing, because they're doing something right, and they're obviously doing it better than me. But, I'm happy where I am. You know, if I did, if, 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 if tomorrow came, and I never got another subscriber, and I kept the 3,000 that I have, I wouldn't be sorry. I wouldn't be sorry. Naturally, you know, I want more subscribers. Obviously, I do. Of course, I do. I get paid. Well, it's ad sense. It's not. Exa I'm not exactly rolling in riches. I mean, I've had. A, I've been a partner for. I can't remember how long I've been a partner for now, and I still haven't received a check come for it. Despite the fact that I know there must be. I must be on at least something at, at by now. I must be. I must be have at least money. So enough money made to actually um, claim it by now. But there we go. But I don't look at it because I didn't. I didn't join AdSense to make money out of it. You know, I didn't join AdSense to make money out of it. I joined AdSense because it allowed me to make longer videos. It allowed me to upload longer videos. It didn't put me on any kind of time sh time uh, time limit for videos. It's a good job, really, because this one's running in about 20 minutes, I reckon. And I'm still not finished. But... But yes, if I didn't get another subscriber, you know, if I didn't, if I didn't get another subscriber, then okay. I want more, and if you know, the more people that watch me, the better, as far as I'm concerned. You know, I mean, I mean, I have plans for the future where my channel is concerned. For one thing, I want to eventually, if I can figure out how to do it, divide my videos up into playlists, so you've got transformer reviews and non-transformer reviews, um, and then I might add a third transformer review because I've got an idea for um, for videos um, on comic only characters because I do because you know as most you know most of my videos are character views with a little bit of with the, with the toy thread at the end um, I thought I'd start doing comic reviews in fact I've actually made one um, I just haven't put it up yet you know I thought I'd do that at some point and I you know I'll divide my channel up into that point because um, I don't I you know I don't want to break away too much from what I've done you know I mean I don't want I don't want to jump off the mountain because it might not be as popular You know, there is something in my videos that people watch me for, people enjoy me for, and I don't want to lose that. You know, I don't want to throw that away in the hope that I get another 3,000 subscribers. Okay, it might take me another three years to get to 6,000. Oh well. It takes me three years, it takes me three years. I'll get that. Because I'm not going anywhere, YouTube. No, I'm still here. 
The location will change, the hair will change. Well, that's what the location's going to change. I've got no plans to move. But the, the hair might change, you know. It might change colour because I'm thinking about dyeing it. And for some reason, about three people have suggested I go blonde. I don't know how I feel about going blonde. If I think I'd look really weird blonde. Not platinum blonde, but blonde, you know. Mouse, mousy blonde. I don't know, some warm blonde, I believe Alan called it. I don't know why. Um, I don't know how I feel about going blonde. Uh, you know, the hair colour might change. The length probably won't. Probably stay about this length. Nah, you know. The clothes will definitely change. You know, I'm not going to wear the same clothes every day. Cause that's just disgusting. And the toys will change. Though I imagine they'll stay as Transformers. But my videos probably won't that much. Well, at least my style will not change that much. Cause I like doing them when I do them. I like having a little bit of fun with them. And I like rambling. And I do ramble. God, do I ramble. I've been doing it for that. You know, this has been a 20 minute video for some 3,000 subscribers. At the moment, I've told you about Rocky Horror Show, Dis and Disarono and Coke. So there we go. Well, empty. But yes, um, can't think of anything else to add. Better meet me. It's taken a good half an hour. So I'm going to finish this. Let me go for another cigarette and go back to bed. Um, and I'll probably upload this in the morning to be honest but yes YouTubers um, thank you so much for watching my videos you know thank you for your comments thank you for your messages thank you for your friend requests you know it it is so it is I'm going to say humbling again because it is it's so humbling and it really is an honour to be part of this community you know yeah we're geeks but god damn we're proud to be geeks but I am hence the tattoos um, you know, it really is an honour to be part of this community, and it's it's an honour to be quite a large part of the community. You know, to be involved with the likes of Optibotimus, to be involved with the likes of Kalel Prime. You know, it it, it really is a genuine honour because they're great blokes, and they all are. You know, you know, there's there's people on YouTube that I count as genuine friends and I've met them once or twice. In most cases once. Um, so and, you know, and the fact that so many people are pulled together. Simply by the fact that we like toys. You know, Auto Assembly was, was, was a classic example. Next year's gonna be great. You guys booked your ticket yet? If you haven't, hurry up. I can find you. Yes I can. But yes, um, damn it! I suddenly managed to get drunk. Oh well, I can't. Cause I got work in the morning, and I ran out of coke. Oh well, never mind. Um, but yes, you know, Order Assembly 2010 is coming, and Order Assembly. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? You can take a guess what's down here, can't you? Looking at me like this sorrowful little pup she is. Ooh, pathetic dog. Um, but yes, um, Order of Assembly 2010 is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it, you know. Um, a bit disappointed I couldn't make the Southern Meat, as I said. But what can I do? I'm going to go listen to the Time Warp. But yes, so there we go. Um, that's this video done. I'm nearly out of Disarono again. I drink far too fast. Actually, in this case, it works in my favour because I wanted to put me to sleep. Um, but for now, YouTube, I will bid you all a good night, a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good mid-morning. Um, and I will be back, I would imagine, on Thursday for my next review. Adios. Au revoir. I'll be the same.